Hello friends, welcome back to another video. So in this video that we are going to discuss some MCQs on the topic PCR that is polymerase chain reaction. So let's move on to the video. Moving on to the first question. The first question is who developed PCR? Option A is Sweat, B is Tizels, C Carrie Mullis and D Alec Jeffrey. So you can now pause the video and think about the answer. So the answer for uh, this question is Option C, Carrie Mullis was uh, developed PCR. So the second question is, in which year PCR developed? Option A, 1980, Option B, 1981, Option C, 1982, and Option D, 1983. So the answer for the question is, Option D, 1983. So in 1983, PCR developed by Carrie Mullis and he was awarded Nobel Prize in 1993 for his discovery. The third question is, as all PCR application employs a heat stable DNA polymerase such as Option A, Poof polymerase, B, Vent polymerase, C, Tag polymerase and D, all of this. So the answer for the question is, D, all of these. The fourth question is, Poof and Vent polymerase are more efficient than TAC polymerase. Why? So the options are option A, having proof reading fidelity. Option B, more heat stable. Option C, it can react with PCR mix. And option D, all of this. So the answer for the question is, option A, that having proof reading fidelity. The fifth question is, the denaturation step in PCR carried out in which temperature? Options are option A 72 degrees Celsius, option B 50 to 65 degrees Celsius and option C 90 to 98 degrees Celsius and option D is above 100 degrees Celsius. So the answer for the question is option C 90 to 98 degree Celsius. So coming to next question is question number 6. DNA to primer attaching is called what? Option A, annealing, option B, denaturation, option C, extension and option D, amplification. So the answer is option A, annealing. The DNA attached to primer is a second process in PCR and that is what we called as annealing. So let's move on to the next question. The seventh question is, what are the properties of reverse transcriptase enzyme property? Option A, DNA-dependent DNA polymerase. Option B, RNA-dependent DNA polymerase. Option C, RNA's H activity. And option D, all of these. So the correct answer for this question is option D, all of this. Because I above said three properties are the properties of reverse transcriptase enzyme. The eighth question Divalent cations have a role in PCR setup. What is its role? Option A, it can resist pH. Option B, act like cofactor. Option C, providing fidelity for the reaction. And option D, all of this. The correct answer for this question is option B, cofactors. The ninth question is, inverse PCR also called option A, touchdown PCR, option B, in situ PCR, option C, inside out PCR and option D, hot star PCR. So the correct answer for this question is option C, inside out PCR. So inverse PCR is also called as inverted PCR as well as it can be also called as inside out PCR. Next question. In degenerate PCR, what type of primer is used? Option A, mixed primer. Option B, single primer. Option C, reverse primer. And option D, none of this. So the answer for this question is, option A, mixed primers are used in degenerate PCR. And these degenerate PCR are same as standard PCR. The next question. Major application for PCR, option A, genetic testing, option B, infectious disease application, option C, forensic and research application, and option D, all of this. So the answer for this question is very clear, that is option D, all of this. The above said three applications are belong to PCR. So coming to next question is, 
Multiplex PCR first described in which year? Option A, 1998. Option B, 1988. Option C, 1978. And Option D, 1968. So the answer for the question is Option B, 1988. So coming to the 13th question, which is the quickest method to optimize PCR? Option A, degenerate PCR. Option B, nested PCR. Option C, touchdown PCR. And option D, colony PCR. So the answer for the question is, option C, touchdown PCR is the quickest method to optimize PCR. Coming to the next question is, what is the advantage of nested PCR? Option A, used to increase magnitude of DNA. B. Increase specificity of DNA. Option C. Avoid unwanted primer annealing. And option D. All of this. So the advantage of nested PCR means option D. All of this. The above said three advantages are the most important advantages of nested PCR. Now the final question is. Thermos Aquaticus is the source of DASH enzyme. Option A, poof polymerase. Option B, tag polymerase. Option C, vent polymerase. And option D, all of this. So the answer for the question is option B, tag polymerase. So thermos aquaticus is the source of tag polymerase. So that's all about our video. Thanks for your watching and please subscribe on my channel and don't forget to smash the like button. So thank you so much.